Rightio, hello everyone. So today, for today's prompt, I'm just going to check my headphones are not doing anything wrong. No, we've got sound. Awesome, good. Okay, today for the prompt, I am going to paint lilies. I'm going to draw them first. So these are gorgeous. I think they're calla lilies. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're calla lilies. So I'm just going to start by drawing their shapes in. Um, so I'm working from the reference that you see on the front of the picture as well. Um, so they sort of wrap around, completely around there. Like that. Come in like that. So I'm just going to do a rough drawing and then I'll... Um, start adding colour I'll erase the lines as well in a little bit now that one, oh this is a pretty one okay so this one here comes down here around here just drawing it how I see it Come down there. Let's bring my reference photo a bit a little bit closer. That comes down there like that. So they're basically just sort of long this skinny shapes with a triangle on top. This one's a little bit rounder on top actually, having said that. Um because it's a bit more a bit more open, I think. That one goes like that comes out over the top and goes back in like that Oops. oh actually okay so that one's got to come out a bit wider I can adjust the shapes as I go a little bit that's one big flower that comes up there down there like that and it goes around there like that and back down and in there like that oh, my dog's making weirdo noises he's crawling around on his face because <laughs> that's what my dog does okay so that's lily number two there's a leaf coming up here draw that in you can't so it disappears off the bottom of the page so just draw the softness of that leaf like so this the jaggedy edges to give it a bit of form take that right down there and there's like a the base of that flower comes around like that into the stem down like that alrighty it's that one then there's one up here that sort of comes over the top of that one goes a little bit like that I think I've made them a little bit big but it doesn't really matter I can probably drop that one down a little bit I might have to do that drop that one down a little bit made it a little bit big That. that's a bit better around like that and around like that and then down like that that one sort of you can see that sort of folds back I'm going to drop this one down a fraction comes up and around there this is the top of another lily I'm not going to worry about that little bit that goes off the back there so that's the top of another one and then there's one over here that comes about there off that plant and 
and then down. And I've got this reference off Unsplash. Come down and around like that. Around there and then down. So take that angle a bit stronger there. I've made that too big. Erase that a little bit. Like that. There we go, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. That comes down into the oh, bit there maybe. And disappears off behind that one. I don't like that one. I've got to change it. Not a hundred percent happy with the angles on it, so let's try again. So that one's like that. This one comes like that. Like that. And then it goes like that. So not quite so big. That's what I did. I made it too big. That's a bit better. And the other side of that flower comes up there. Like that. And back into that point. All right. And then there's a leaf here. I can erase some of that. There's a leaf. Let's get the shape in. Erase that. <laughs> I'm adjusting shapes as I go. So I'm just drawing it how I see it. I'm just following the shapes. And then I'll add the detail in a minute. Let's get the shapes in. The long narrow leaf. There we go. That leaf sort of disappears off down there. So now I can draw the jaggedy bits in. And that disappears off down there. That. And then there's another leaf just here. Um, like that. And then the last leaf, that stem comes down there leaf and then there's a leaf going up there it's darker again and that's the last leaf like that all right I think that's around about it so I'm just going to get rid of some of this underdrawing but not all of it just some of it I've got to define that lily a little bit more oh hang on that lily comes that one comes around there and down a bit lower like that so I can erase that bit and then that one comes up and sort of back in and around it goes narrow there erase that line because I don't need that line that lily comes around there that leaf comes around there and then that wraps in like that. All right. There is one off behind it. Um, in the background, I can't see it. I can only see the colour of it. So that comes in like that. I've got that line there. I'm just going to drop that down a fraction. Draw that line back in. All right. I think that's them pretty much shaped out. I've drawn them a bit bigger than they are in real life, but we will. Now I'm just going to very gently just roll my kneadable eraser around it and soften those pencil lines. I still want to see them, but I want them softened. So I'm just going to very gently roll around my kneadable eraser slowly so it doesn't make my camera go all blurry on you guys. And then let's just soften those lines a little bit. So you just draw the shapes you see. I'm not real happy with that shape there, but it doesn't matter. I'll be painting over it anyway, so it's not a problem. Okay, so that's about that. So what I'm going to do now, grab my brushes out. 
and I'm going to go around the outside. If you look at the reference picture, um, the, the reference, the background is actually quite dark. So I'm going to use indigo. I can't see their stamens, so I'm just going to do indigo around the outside. Grab my brush, clean it, and wet the background. So I'm going to paint all around the background. I'm using a flat. What size is it? A size, no idea, three-quarter inch flat. I'm going to take that right around the outside of everywhere that I'm going to put paint. Everywhere that I'm going to put the indigo. I don't usually use a flat brush. I just got this the other day, so I'm interested to try it out. And I can work in sections because I want to um, keep it so what's the days. I just got to see where the 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 um, keep an eye out where the water goes. Okay, doke. So I've wet that whole right hand side. Now I'm going to drop in the indigo because the background in this is dark, is very dark. So I've just got to be careful that I don't put any paint where I don't want it because this will stain the paper quite a lot. So I'm just going to cut around. I don't know if I've got a little blob on the, on the flower. So I'm going to cut around my flowers. I've completely wet the background. So this is Daniel Smith's indigo that I'm doing around the background. Take that right down and around. Oops, it's already drying. Gee willikers. That's a bit, a bit scary. All right, so take that right down and around. There. And then I've got to go around the top. So carefully, carefully. Just trying to see. Yeah, that goes around like that. Cut around the top. You can go onto the tape, it doesn't matter, that's all fine. Oops, a daisy, I might have to get a little bit on there. Oops. Okay, then leave that, just drag that back into there. Okay, actually, I'm just going to pop a little bit into there. This brush is probably a little bit big. I can use the edge of it though. I do have a smaller one, but I use this because it's just what I got there. What I got handy, so I'll mix up. Now I'm going to wet the other side. Completely wet all of this. Make it thoroughly, thoroughly wet. So cut around my drawing. And it's really quite simple. Like they're just simple shapes. These they're not um, terribly complex shapes. They're sort of just elongated sausages with triangles on the end. <laughs> so they're quite. As far as flowers go, they're quite simple. I'm not, I don't do a lot of flowers, but I'm trying for this uh, World Watercolour Month. I am really trying to challenge myself and push myself to do things I don't normally do. So here we are doing uh, uh, doing lilies, which I don't think I've ever painted lilies. So this is my first ever lily painting, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember doing them ever. All right, so now I'm going to drop this indigo. Which is quite a beautiful colour because it caused the background ref the reference is actually black. And I don't want to do black. I'll just do a deep blue. I don't actually own a black, I'd have to mix it up, but blue is quite pretty. So I'll just take that all around the outside. Where's, where do those leaves go? That goes like that. That one. A couple of leaves in there. Down like that. All right, cut around the outside, and then I'm going to just take that all the way down there. Put the rest of my indigo down there, and then I'm going to have to let that paper dry a little bit. And I'm, I'm using hot pressed paper too. I'm using which which means flat, smooth paper. Hot pressed in watercolor is smooth. Righto, so I'm going to 
might go over this on a saturai. Not yet. Oh, nearly. Gee whiz. Okay. So I've got to bead, pick up the bead at the bottom. So I literally just run my brush, dry, take the excess moisture off it, and run my brush around the bottom. And just pick up that excess water at the bottom. And I'm going to leave that background, I think. I might add another layer of indigo later. We'll see how we go. So now, while that's drying, I can start working on this middle flower. So what I'm going to do is start with my lightest colours and work my way to dark. So I'm just having a quick look at the reference. I'll stay away from the edge. And I'm going to go in with the pink first. So let's have a look what colour pinks I've got. I've got a cobalt violet. So I'm going to get some cobalt violet on my palette. I'll get it all onto my palette now. Some cobalt violet on my palette. Get a fair bit of that on there. And then add a lot of water so it's diluted. It's quite beautiful, actually. I might just use that for now. And then I'll go in. So what I'm doing is I'm going to wet my first flower, which I'm going to start in the middle because it's got the least wet paper around it. So I start on this middle flower. I won't quite go to the edges, but I can wet the whole thing. Pretty much I can wet the whole thing. So I'm just going to wet. And when I look at it, you can see me looking sideways. When I look sideways, I can see the sheen of how wet the paper is. And that helps me to decide when it's all, see when it's drying, when it's ready to drop paint into. It's got a slight pink tint to it, which is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to take this colour up to the top of the flower and let it run down. Take it around the edges and let that run down into the lily. So yeah, when I was researching for this prompt, the prompt was was faithful. And the first thing I thought was, I'm an animal artist. I could draw a dog. Dogs are faithful. But then I thought, no. Hello, Aurora. How are you going, doll? And I thought, oh, dogs are faithful. I could draw a dog. And then I'm like, no. <laughs> Comfort zone, lovey. You need to get outside it. So then I thought, what else could I do for faithful? And this happened. <laughs> so I googled what else faithful, what else meant faithful, what symbolised faithfulness. And Lily's popped up. So how's your day been, Aurora? What have you been up to, doll? Painted a hound. I was gonna do. I was gonna do my daughter's dog. <laughs> I took a great photo of it. Then I thought, no. I always draw dogs. <laughs> I always do animals. I'm gonna try not to. Do, I'm trying not to do animals as much as I can. I'm going rogue. We just got our internet back. Ours is supposed to be going down in the next few days as well. Um. Apparently, we got warning that um, they'll be doing maintenance around. So I was like, I hope my stream holds. I hope, I hope. And the kids got home today, so I'm a bit excited to have the kids home again because I've missed them terribly. Got to finish my video now for tomorrow now. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. going to be fun. Okay, so while this is still damp, I'm just running this down and around. Every time I say down and around the outside, the first thing I think is the real slim shady. <laughs> my my son-in-law saw saw my um picture for my draw some piece for tomorrow and laughed. I was like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't help myself. He's my favourite superhero. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that. I always go in too heavy. So this is gonna be quite simple. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna be brave. And then I'm gonna drop in <laughs> my green. Oh, they bought some awesome presents. I'll tell you off stream what they got for my husband. It's so funny. I got a little, hang on, hang on, look at this. I got, they got me a little penguin and he goes, hang on, where's my camera? He makes, he makes penguin noises. <laughs> so he's a bit cute. So he's now my mascot. 
who sits up there. <laughs> but yeah, I oh, the Bear Bear wants it. You can't have it, Bear Bear. It's mine. But yeah, that was a bit of fun. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Yeah, I, I, I was started laughing. They got my husband a Tassie Devil related thing, but it was so funny. Oh, and I got a book, a sketchbook cover thing made out of wood. Like it's 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 um gorgeous wood um cover. Like a hardwood cover and they've put like a a bendy back on it. Oh god, it was beautiful. It's sitting on my crystal cabinet in the lounge room. So I could put an art book in it if I wanted, but I think I'm gonna save it for this beautiful because it's just so pretty to look at. Yeah, I love me penguin. <laughs> he makes me smile. So I'm just gonna take this yellow green up the stem a little bit. Not the stem, up to onto the flower a little bit. And then I'm going to just, whoops, that pale green. And then I'm going to go the darker green on the bottom. What, what green should I use? Sap. Yep, sap. That's the one. Oopsie dipsy. Oh, I'll, I'll have to show you. I'll get one. I'll get April to go get it and bring it in. Right, so that's one flower. Not quite. Do, do I work? Yeah, I'll work on one flower at a time. I need to do that, don't I? I do need to do that. So I need to actually add a little bit darker into the top. So I've gone with a violet. So I need to go, I reckon, ooh, I'm going to go a little bit of quinacridone violet. So I'll stick to me violet. Ooh, that's a nice dark violet. And I'm going to drop that into the top. I'm just going to, ooh, so I think it's still damp. I hope it's still damp. We're about to find out. Yes, it's still damp. Nice. So take that around there, just drop that into the top of my flower. Whoops, Daisy. And let that sort of run down. I think I've got a wet just here. It's not quite wet enough. I should have wet the paper. So I'm going to wet it now. Coming down here. Be a bit careful, lift off a little bit of the excess. And drop in that. Where'd the violet go? Here, violet, violet, violet. There it is. Drop a little bit of that into here. Oh, now I've got excess water. Suck that up with my brush and drop the violet into there. And let that run down where I just put that water. Let that run down there. Come on, run paint. It doesn't want to run. <laughs> it doesn't want to run, but that's okay. And then I'll take a little bit of that down this side. Keep it very simple. That's the plan. I keep reaching for water. I put it in a different spot because I'm difficult like that. So now I'm going to pop it. Take, it, take that just around this edge. Not solidly around the edge. Pop a little bit into that bit there, the shadow area there. You don't do florals very often. This is a challenge. Oh, God, yeah. That's why I'm trying to do stuff that I don't do. I initially was going to go for a dog because I thought Faithful's dog, but then I thought, no, go rogue. But I've messed that a little bit, but I can go over that when it's dry. So that's fine. So I'm going to leave that one alone. My background's dry. You know, this is very definitely something I don't do a lot of <laughs> at all. I don't think I've ever painted lilies, ever. So this is my first ever lilies. But why not do it live? <laughs> You're kicking it back. Oh, God, thank you. I've watched videos on how. <laughs> I watched that fella. Um, the, the name has, his name has completely left my Jenny brain. Oh, 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 doesn't matter. Just forget it. Don't panic. There's a bit. I've got a bit where I don't want it. But that's okay. Hey, Booger, look. Yes. Can you grab my beautiful book that the kids got me from the lounge? Thank you. I'll, I'll show you what the kids got me. No, you're all right, bud. Yeah, so this is my first ever lilies, but I wanted to do something completely outside the box. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm already thinking about tomorrow and what on earth I'm going to do. And, of course, I have no idea because that would be just too easy to have to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll think about that tonight before I go to sleep. So I'm going to wet, drop the paint in. This is just the most gorgeous colour. And I went mad. 
when I decided I was going to try flowers and I bought all the pinks that I never use in animals. So I bought all the pinks. Where did you place your book? It's on the book cupboard. Um, on the bookshelf in the lounge where Dad and I sit, Bug. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to go around here like that. I'm just filling all of this flower in pretty much. Um, you're going to laugh when you see my painting, Evervescent. Oh, Evervescent, that's the one. I was like, oh, my, what on earth, apart from lemonade, like soft drink, like bubbly soft drink, what on earth would you do for Evervescent? Here we go. Okay, so this is the book that the kids got me. Have a look at this. It's got a wombat. It's, it's solid wood. It's made out of Tasmanian sassafras. Whoops, can I get it in the camera? And it's wood. And inside it, it's got a notebook. But you can put just swap your books into the cover. And it's got a little wombat. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God, I've never seen anything like it. So I'm going to sit it far, far away from my water. Hello, Ariane. I expected me to paint a dog. <laughs> I expected me to, too. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Put it under the camera. Well, that would be smart. Okay, I'll do that, shall I? I'm so used to holding my things up to the other camera. I'm just going to quickly pop this green into the stem and let it run up a little bit. Hang on, hold that thought, peeps. Right, I'll just let that sit for a second. And I'll hold it. I'm a duffer. I should have done that in the first place. So this is a book my kids got me. And look at the wombat. Isn't he cute? He's carved out. Hang on, now I'm going to open it. And I'll show you it open. It's got a leather strap on it. And look. And it, it's a hardcover, so it holds, holds your sketchbooks. And it's got a little wombat. And she's carved out all the edge. Is like um, she's just hollowed out the wood so it bends, but it's made out of sassafras. And I love my little wombat. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? My kids bought that back from Tasmania for me. They just got back today from their holiday. So I was rather rather excited about that. It was so cute. <laughs> I'll tell you what they got my husband. It was really funny. They got him a pair of boxer shorts with a, a Tasmanian devil on the front pulling a face. <laughs> Made me laugh so much. It was hilarious. Right, now that's still damp. Whoever made that is a real good artist. Yes, he bought his mum. Um, is that still damp? It's a little bit damp. That's good. He bought his mum the uh, and want, uh, I probably shouldn't say in case she's watching. I shouldn't say in case she's watching. So I won't. Because <laughs> if she watches this video... She'll know what she's getting and that sort of ruins it. So I'm not telling. But but I'll tell you in a couple of days when I know she knows what it is. <laughs> but something equally as beautiful. They're just oh, the craft. Tasmania, they make the most beautiful crafts. Like I get my Ugg booty, like moccasiny things over there. We've got to go once a year just to get mockos. I call them mockos. Um I'm not real, I'm going to go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go back in with some stronger violet. I'm not keen on what I've done there. I'm going to drop stronger violet in up here. It's going to go more pigment. There's more pigment, less water. So I can still, you, as long as your colours aren't too drastically different, you can adjust things a little bit. And I'm just going to drag those edges down. But, yeah, I, I, years ago I bought a little Tasmanian Devil salt and pepper shaker and I got all, all the cliché gifts. And uh, what else did I get? A little chicken that's sitting and it, she's like a little cup, but she's you take off the lid and she's sitting on little ceramic eggs, eggs in the cup. It's so cute. So I bought all the ornaments. <laughs> I love ornaments. I love things like that. Then I'm going to come down here. All right. That doesn't look right. I've got to get all of these colours on here. So this comes down and around here. So I'm going to re-wet that a little bit. It's only the very beginning. I need to be patient. Patience is a virtue. I'm just going to take that up here. Around the edges. Get a bit more on my thing, a bit stronger pigment, less water. There we go, that's better. And take that round there because that's actually one leaf that comes down there. So 
let that dry a little bit. Then there's, I'll drag, I'll let it dry a little bit. I need to let that bit dry. So on this one, this comes, I'm going to re-wet a little bit too much moisture in my brush. Not quite up to the other one I just wet, just around that edge and drop in some more of that pigment there. Like that so that then gives that that shape so yeah I was going to use a couple of different colors but I don't think I will so I'll go back over that one when it's dry so can, you can do that as long as it's you can't go lighter but you can go darker so this will be to be a couple of colors so I'll just do that like that there's a little bit of yellow down this bottom bit which I will add in a little bitty in a little itty bitty bitty, I've got to go darker around there. Okay, got to get some watercolor paper. Mine is so small, I want to paint bigger. Yeah, I probably work. I'm, all my stuff's about A4 size. I used to buy the sheets, the big sheets, but they're too hard to store, and then I'd cut them up. I get them home, cut them up. It's going to come around here. I need to darken up this bit. down there because that comes down there like that so that's all twisted up around the top okay now I'm going to leave that one alone okay I'm going to drag that got to pop some little lines in I can probably do that at the end but I'm going to pop them in now while it's still a little bit of damp on the paper and take those veiny bits down the plant there are little veiny, just slightly veiny bits that come down like that. And that, that sort of also gives the plant direction, like gives the, like the petals direction like that. Suggests the direction they're going in. That one, and that's got a green tip on it. So now I'm going to go back into my green. Get some stronger sap green. A bit more on my brush. Like that. Take that down the bottom. I can run it up a little bit onto the flower like that. Righto. I've got to try and soften up here. So I'm going to clean my brush. This stains your water really quickly. You've got to be, just want to get rid of those hard edges. I don't want those hard edges at all. So I'm just going to go back in with the damp brush. And anywhere that looks like it's got hard lines, I'm just going to soften a little bit. So I'm just going to literally get a damp brush and scrub the air. Excuse my dog. Is the door shut on you there, Bear? Hang on. There you go. And I'll scrub the edges. Yeah, I don't work a whole lot bigger than this. This is about as big as I go. I'm going to drop, I'm going to wet that, re-wet, whoop, quickly catch that, re-wet that top part and back down where I went, re-wet that all pretty much. It's a good size, yeah, it's a good manageable size. Any bigger than this, I struggle to keep the paper wet when it needs to be wet, I struggle. So any bigger than this, mind you, I've got one of my old art teachers used to, she works like a metre the full size sheets. It blows my mind. I don't know how she does it. But yeah, she works full size sheets. And she does the most magnificent work. Oh my God. One day I'll never be as good as her. She's just, you know, there's those people who are just mind blowingly amazing. She's one of those. <coughs> can't keep a three by five. Yeah, I can't, I can't, oh, mate. <laughs> I can't keep anything wet. <laughs> I'm so bad. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute. So I'm happy with that already. My washing machine's making noises. I'm going to go back onto this bit here. and I've got to darken that bit right there. Darken that one. OK, 
okay, not fiddling. I'm not going to fiddle. I keep wanting to fiddle, but it's like, no, don't fiddle. Step away from the flower. Step away from the flower with your hands on your head. <laughs> I'm not allowed to touch the flower. I'm not allowed to fiddle. Ugh. Okay, so then I'm going to go. I'm going to go back in with a bit of green, a bit of darker green this time. <laughs> it's like, don't touch the flower anymore. I'm gonna go, I've got to do the stem though. <laughs> Take that down there. It's on the darker side. Don't fiddle with it. Just put it on and leave it. Same on this side. Don't overpaint. I know, I know. I've got to stop. But I've just got to darken this bit. So I keep telling myself, it's like, don't overdo it. Just let it flow. Let it be natural. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm actually going to clean my brush and soften that edge. So I'm not adding. I'm not adding paint. I'm just softening that edge right there. There we go. Just want to soften that bit. Like that. I was nearly going to do these with um, watercolor pencils. I came. Cl I was. I was close. Close to doing it with watercolor pencils. Okay. So now this one up here, I'm going to do in two pieces. I'm going to wet, keep staying away from the other two flowers, just a little itty bitty bit. I'm just going to wet. It actually helps when you when you dip your water in your brush in your water actually to touch your water. I just like dip my brush right next to my water pot because that's what I do. It's how I roll. Apparently, totally missed the water pot. That's going to be really helpful, isn't it? So I'm just going to wet that. I'm just not quite going. I don't want it to run onto the edge. I sent you a pic of tomorrow's painting. Oh, okay. Ooh, an acrylic. Ooh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'll have to check because I haven't. I literally, I had a nan and that because I'm an old person and all the excitement of the kids getting home. They're not, they, they literally they came home. You know how you sort of worry? Even though I knew they were fine, they got home and then I went, oh, and I was exhausted and I fell asleep. So I literally woke up, got up, came out here. Here I am. Ta-da! With bed face because, I've, you know, it, yeah, you sleep on your face and you go all scrumply. I've gone all scrumply. I did, I did, <laughs> I did wash my face, but, yeah. Anyway, so, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I haven't checked any of my socials, so I better, I shall check my messages. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave that like that. I can... Add more after. Yeah. <laughs> Consistency is key. <laughs> I'm consistently inconsistent. I, oh, throw my paper away. You've got to do that too. That's a must. If you've got to drop something at least once a stream because that's, that's a gift. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's too wet. Okay. Grab some more pigment. Less water. That's better. There we go. And just strengthen that up. Had it too watery. Now that's too thick. But that's okay. We can lift that off a little bit. Um, and take that back up and around. Nice catch. I know, mate. I'm a ninja. Got me, I've got me Jenny Claude Van Damme fingers on and I'm, I'm moving like a ninja. Swift. I'm swift. Okay, so I'm just going to take darker paint around the outside edges and then drag it while, this, while, the, while the paper's still damp. Drag it around there. Like that. Right. Hooly dooly. I'll leave a little tiny gap between the flowers so you can sort of discern the different flowers. Uh, which colour is it? Pink and violet light. This is... This is cobalt violet light. Yes, cobalt violet light. Now down here, it's pink and green. So I'm going to careful, ooh, carefully wet in there. So, yeah, this is, um, and I'm just using one colour, different consistencies. I did try a bit, of, a bit of darker violet, but I've decided I didn't like it. I still might put it back. You never know. This is me. Anything's possible. But um, for now... I'm just going to try, maybe just stick with the one colour. I'm going to go a bit of sap green. And drop into there. Because that's a flowering pond. I think I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go, mm, I'm going to sort of let it sit. I'll add more detail in a minute. So yeah, that's cobalt violet light. 
I'm just going to soften this edge here. Just there. All right, now I'll leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to have to go in darker, but I'll be very careful about it. I might do it with... Um, A smaller brush rather than changing color just go like do a detail brush and run the pattern of the um, texture on the on the petals they're so pretty these ones <coughs> if I come down here these are three leaves so they'll be different tones of greens Okay, so now I've got that all wet. So I just damp the paper. Anywhere I'm going to put the colour, I damp the paper. And I drop the colour in and let it flow. Yeah, like I said, this is a first for me. I've never, never painted lilies. So I've watched a couple of videos. But, of course, they always make it look easy. The videos always make it look easier than it actually is, but um, but I'd have a bit of a bit of an idea. I wouldn't be going in completely blind. I don't like that one, but anyway, we'll keep going because I've got to just have faith that it will work out in the end. Drag that down. Grab some more. So true, yes. Oh, darken up here. Oh, no, no, I haven't got enough pigment. Oops, poopy. Grab some pigment. Some more pigment. And not do the whole thing. Just run it down in strips, sort of. Tonal value in flowers is... Ca yes, because otherwise they're just flat. I've, do I've done a couple of roses. I have done roses and I've done... What were the other ones I did? Um, 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 I've done hide ranges. That was fun. They were just lots of little dots. Can't remember what the other ones are called. I've got my grandma's ones. Oh my god, my grandma's my favourite. It also looks easy if you if you're doing it. Oh god, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm you know I'm just literally. Practicing what I saw the guy do, um, not as good as he did. He did beautiful. I can't, it wasn't lilies. He did something else. I think he did. Um, what are they called? I've got, all the words have left me again. Um, they weren't pansies, but they were something like a pansy. Um, they were pretty, pretty flower, a real delicate little flower. Okay, I'm going to leave that, and then. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna we'll start. I'm gonna go grab my fine brush, my really, really itty bitty fine. Well, it's not itty bitty, but it's fine. My fine brush, and I'm gonna grab some almost pure pigment of the same colour, so it's still cobalt violet. And I'm just gonna do the lines. Oops, that, my brush has got hairy, it's growing a winter coat. I've got a hairy brush. Look at it. Look at those little rogue hairs. It's growing a moustache. Naughty brush. I don't know what happened there. I'm just going to pop in a few little details. Because you can see around the edges. I'm not going to do them everywhere. And I'm just going to do them following the texture or the direction the flower sort of folds. So that petal goes up that way like that then I can drag it down a little bit just soften the bottom of them so wet my brush and drag it down a little bit that'll slow the edge down a little bit with a bit of luck in theory and all that <laughs> and then I'm gonna just pop a little bit of darker in here just in this bit because that fold there is darker take that around there like that soften the edge because that's where it sort of rolls around leave that outside bit I can leave that bit 
then have a little bit more. It's all about the shapes. It's just trying to keep the shapes right. I don't know what's happened to this brush. It's gone all weird. <laughs> uh, so that goes like that. Around that edge. Like that. Right. Now leave that. Then go into my purple. Anywhere that I can see is really dark. So here's really dark. A bit more water. Go in the direction like that. Drag out the edges. Direction the flower falls. Like that. That sort of comes out like that. And then there's a green bit on the end. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that edge down with a damp brush. So wet it, take the excess moisture off it, and then drag it down. I really, this brush is driving me crazy with its lost hair because it's rogue hair. All right. Then just here is darker. So I can wet just here. Take that up, staying away from the bit that I just wet. And take that up there. Just helps to define that little bit. Like that. Then this bit here is a bit darker. Come around that edge. Around there. It wraps around itself a few times. Not going to go too far, just a little bit like that. Dampen the edge. I might bring, I might bring in that other violet just a little bit. Just into here. There's the tiniest touch of it on my brush, just there, like that. That's still damp, so while that's a little bit damp, just touch that around that edge, like that. Just teeniest little bit, and then down here, teeniest little bit, maybe not that teeny, a little bit more teeny than that. Less teeny. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean when I say teeny. It's a bit dark. It's okay. I can just drag that, clean my brush, take the excess moisture off. Come around there. You can see the veins coming down there. So I'm just going to drag that paint down. Like that. <clears throat> I'm going to re-wet this bit. Just around here. I picked this because it's sort of, the shapes were really easy to draw. Um, but I thought it had challenging with its lights and darks and stuff. So come around there. Got only three hours of sleep last night and I've been all, up all day playing. I'll watch the playback. No, you're right, Dale. Go to bed, mate. Go to bed. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. It's always lovely to see you, Dale. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for Drawsome. Sleep well, bud. bud. Love your bunches. Looks great so far. Thank you. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> You'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> but thank you, Dale. All right, I think I'm going to leave that one alone. I've got to put I've got to put a little bit of green around the trim. So I'm going to go into my greens because it does have around the very tip, just here, a touch of green. 
can barely even see it, but I know it's there. So, touch of green. And a touch of green there. I left that white. I was smart and I left that bit white. Like that. All right. So now I'm going to go on to this one next to it. And I'm going to add a little bit of this darker colour because you can see that that's got the pattern there like that. Pattern up here. The darker bit there. Run it up into that point like that. I'm going to re-wet this bit. This one is a couple of tones darker. Very carefully, very, very carefully. Being brave here, dropping a little bit of that dark purple in. Just the darker, um, what is it called? It is called quinacridone violet. Just dropping a tiny little bit of quinacridone violet in up here. Into that top flower. Not a lot, just a little. Just a little. Uh, all right. Um, okay, so that then comes down into there like that. You can see these lines come up into this bit. Still a little bit damp, but I don't mind if it diffuses the, the paint a little bit. It's actually a good thing like that. I'll leave that light bit in between. Right, go back onto this flower. <clears throat> I'm going to take the lines down like this. So they come down there like that and help to define the shape around the edges. That. And then this side, other direction. We take it down there like that. And that sort of just shows I won't do it all the way around, and then I've got to come down here and do some coming this way. You can see it coming down onto the base here, but very faintly. So I'm just going to do a few, not 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 solidly, just a few, and then on this one too. Little lines come around there like that. Right now, I'm going to leave that alone. Pretty sure I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm not going to leave that alone. I need to do lines here. Just there. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> and I'll go back onto this first one. Over to the left. So. I've got to, I'm going to wet that bit there. Because it's quite dark just here. So I'll wet that. I'm in with my quinacridone purple or quinacridone violet. And very gently, carefully run some little lines down there like that and help to define the shape of that one, hopefully. All right. All right, I'm going to let them settle for a bit and I'm going to go on to the leaves and I'm going to start with a slightly bigger brush, my middle size brush, I think. There's my middle size brush. And this the top green's the darkest and this 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 the top green. The top leaf is the darkest and this one's the lightest. So I'm going to go into this one. 
start with my light one. And I'll go in with a little bit of sap green, just diluted, diluted sap green. So quite diluted and just drop that in around there and let it sort of flow around a bit. So I've wet that paper quite a lot. All right. While it's still wet, I'm going to go a little bit of the same green. I'm going to add a touch of blue to it just to darken it up a little bit. Touch of cobalt. Come on, cobalt, re-wet. There we go. Didn't want to re-wet just to keep under here. So while it's still a little bit damp, I'm going to grab the other brush, a really fine brush, and do the, um, the lines while it's still damp, the veins. While it's still damp, run the veins to the edges of the leaf. And let them sort of flow a little bit. And then I'm going to, I don't want the edges not straight, I've got to sort of jaggedy the edges a little bit. Because the leaves are quite jagged around the edges on these. Give it a stronger centre of the leaf, like that. Then this side of the leaf goes into shadow, so just a dark green in there. So I'm going to go put a bit of olive in there, maybe. I'm going to wet it just into here. And drop a touch of darker green in there, coming down that shadow side. And drag it I'm not 100 percent sure what I'm doing here but we're having a go so I'm just dropping I'll go get a bit more blue in there a bit of indigo maybe into my green I'm gonna darken that shadow area up a bit go back into my sap get some more sap green on my palette <clears throat> To get right up in there next to the flower. I'm sure if I've got it down like that. Maybe I'll go a bit of indigo there. Got to get some more of that into my palette. There we go. I'm just going to drop that indigo into the top of that green and let it flow back into there because that is all dark right in there down along that stem of that plant like that all right dark a bit darker down here whoops not that much I don't want it to be a hard line so I'll wet me brush drag it down like that and I might leave that one alone Then I clean my brush and I run up wet this leaf. And do a similar thing. So wet my leaf. Go in with the sap green. A bit of pure sap green. Drop that in. Like that. Let it flow around. Go in with my slightly darker green. Pop that into the bottom of the leaf because it's in shadow there. Let that flow around. Like that. <clears throat> Drag it up a little bit. Right, I'm going to leave that for a minute. Then I'll go around or while it's damp, grab some of the darker green. Oops. 
loops and come into here come on green get my darker green and run that up in this direction the jaggedy the edge just want that edge to be rough like that all right and I can just drag the lines of that leaf down there and that one I might soften it up a little bit it's interesting to see every little color ships color step it's it's a challenge it's it's all just this is this one sort of is really all just different tones of a couple of colors and I'm very much sort of what's the word um experimenting so it's fun it is good fun I'm just going to soften up got to get my damp brush in there and sort of lift that up a little bit there we go because that one is a little bit darker on this side so I can sort of blend not blend it but take that color down a little bit between those lines on that one right and it's quite dark in here so while it's still damp got to make sure that one looks bejaggedy at the edges that. And that one sort of bends in on itself, but I won't worry about that. I can't do anything about that. It's just got to do its thing. And I think I've got to add a little bit. I've got to wet this bit down here because this is quite dark. Let's re-wet that. Pop a little bit, a little blib of indigo in there. So have you painted flowers, Ariane? I haven't, I haven't done a lot of them at all, so I'm very much learning as I go to darken this up like that and then I'm going to take that stem down that stem comes down here like that all right clean my brush this leaf looks leathery that's a bit weird. So I've got to go, I'm going to wet this one. There's another two leaves. It's sort of getting there. It's getting there slowly, slowly. We're getting there. And the whole time I'm thinking about my next step, like I'm doing a step and then I'm like, okay, what am I going to have to do next to make it? Because you've got to sort of think quick to um, know what's going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but you've got to sort of quick, think quick while the paper's still, while you can still move paint around. You've got to keep an edge around that one. Because they sort of disappear off up behind each other. Like that. I'm going to keep it simple. They're starting to look like leaves. I'm a little bit happy. <laughs> and then I'm, the darkest green is this one up the back. This one here. So I'm going to wet that. This is the darkest green. So I'm going to go straight in with my not that wet. I need a bit more, a bit more paint, a little less pigment. A little bit, little more paint, a little less water. I mean. Take that down while it's still wet, not quite touching the other one. Like that. Around that edge. <clears throat> I'll leave a little tiny little bit of white around the edge. Just go drop a bit of indigo in there. Just a touch. Whoops. Like that because that one is the darkest and 
I should, I should, hmm, I'm not sure how I'm going to retrieve that. I'm just going to leave that alone for a minute. Have a quick look at my picture. It's looking all right because those leaves all sort of do wrap up against each other. Because I can't make anything lighter. I could actually go in with a little bit, I could be a bit cheeky and go in with a bit of um, um, my, uh, what do you call it? My ink pens just to tidy up a couple. I just want to put a couple of little highlights on that I've lost. Just going to re wet down in here. Drop this green into there. Just darken up that base of that stem. Then the same thing on this one. to darken up that base on that one. And um, what was the background colour? Indigo. Um, the background is Daniel Smith's Indigo. And I'm, I might do another layer just directly around the flowers. I'm still debating whether to, but I might, I think I might. But to come around this edge, just darken this edge, this edge here, like that, and start to pop a little bit more. I've got. I think I will do just around them a little bit more. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my ink pen just to tie. Just, I just want to add a little highlight. I'm just going to grab a pale yellowy green. I'm just going to check it on my bit of paper. Try not to drop anything. That's probably it. Do I need it to be more yellow? I need it to be more of a yellow? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's all right. That's a bright yellow. I just want to highlight just a couple of edges where the light's hitting it and making it yellow. And there's a little bit up here, just a touch. So these are, it's ink, uh, India ink on this. So you can, anywhere I've lost a little bit. I can add a little bit up the outside there. Like that. Just helps to lift it a little bit. Like that. Just having a quick look it's around there. All right. Also, a little bit, teeny tiny, teeny tiny touch of the white, which you can't see. It doesn't really show up as a white. All right. And I'm going to drag, just grab my pen, because ink does, this ink is still movable a little bit, so I can just drag it just a tiny bit. So I can soften that out just a littlest bit, like that. Because it, while it's still wet, it is, it's, you can actually move it around with the brush a little bit like that and soften it and add a little bit Oops. that onto the edge of it back onto the edge of it there we go take that up there and then I'm going to let that dry I'm going to go back around the outside I think with a little bit more indigo so I'm going to clean my palette so I don't have any other colors anywhere but to worry about <clears throat> and I'm going to go around that outside edge with indigo again just to 
Well, that's a very concerned face. And then a what's going on face. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wet my brush. Whoops, it is. And then I'm, going to, I'm not going to do the whole background. I'm just going to do closest to the flowers. So I'm going to re-wet just around here using my round brush this time, not the flat one. I'm going to re-wet all around this bit, just directly next to the flowers. And then grab me indigo, a ton of it, and drop it in just directly next to the flowers. And let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Like that. And it by rights shouldn't end up with a hard line because I've wet around it again. Should sort of flow around a little bit, I hope. Got to be careful not to dip back into the water because you have your paper if your brush is wetter than the paper you're in all kinds of strife you've just got to pick up that bit of water excess water excess water down there um you get all nervous when you change something done i get always yes i do too but i think you know what's the worst thing that happens is i do it again <laughs> i do too but Gonna drag that out a bit. Oops. It's all you can always do it again. You can always do it again. It's gotta soften up that edge that see that bit dried, which is a bit of a shame, but anyway. That bit dried on me. I'll just darken that up right there. And let that flow down. Pick up the bead at the bottom. Clean my brush, take the moisture out, and let that flow and hope it all flows down because that's what I want it to do. I don't want to have to brush it down, I want it to flow down. So I'm just as I, as the bottom the water's coming to the bottom, I'm picking, picking up the excess. Like that. I might have to drag that bit down. Just like that. Then I'll leave it alone. I quite like that. Alright. Now I've got a bit of a line happening just there. I don't know how I'm gonna do. Anything about that, I'll just try and soften that as best as I can and hope it dries pale. That'll that'll be fine. All right, now I'm gonna do up in the top bit, clean my brush, wet up in here, and I can see through the sheen on the paper. I'm just gonna do this bit. I'm gonna do it like a section at a time because I'm only doing around the edges. Add a bit more indigo and drop it in there. Staying sort of close to the edges. Like that. Oops. Oh, my camera went. It'll be back in a second. It does that when it has internet issues. It'll pop back. There we go. We're back. <laughs> it does that. Um, we must... Because we're satellite dish when it's overcast, it does weird things. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. And then, got to go down between these two. I'm just having a quick look in my big screen because it's, it's like stepping away from the painting. It's got a wet in here. And I'm going to drop some more indigo just in there. Like that. Take that down in there. Gotta keep the shape. All right, that's good. All right. Clear me brush. And that around there. 
I'm just looking sideways so I can see the sheen on the paper. Take that around there. And I'm going to drop, grab myself my indigo. Drop that in there. Let it flow. Like that. <clears throat> and leave it alone. I've just got to pick up that bead at the bottom. It's a little bit a lot, a lot of a lot of water in there. I drop a bit more indigo. Why aren't you dropping indigo? Come on. Get on me brush. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna leave that alone. Then Again, wet me brush, come around the outside, take it down to the bottom, grab some more indigo, have plenty of indigo ready to go, drop it in and it didn't flow. Awesome. I've got to make it flow. All right. So I can drag that edge out. down there. <clears throat> I've got to pick up that bead at the bottom before it, because I don't want it to pull in that. It'll end up with a hard bit. Alright. Alright. And then I'm going to soften up this edge. Clean me brush. Soften that up. I don't want to look at that. That bit there needs to get softened. Drag it out, sort of, and let's have a look. Mm. Mm. I think I need to take this bit out a bit more over here. So I'm going to re-wet there. You can adjust a little bit here and there while it's when it's dry. I'm just going to take that out that way. So take it away from the plants a little bit. Maybe not that much, hang on. There we go. And let it flow. Ooh, look at that. That's doing what that's doing nice things. Alright. I'll let it be. Just gotta take away from that edge a bit. Rightio. So just sort of darkened up around directly around the flowers a little bit. I'll just soften up a couple of these lines very gently. When that's completely dry, it'll look a bit softer. Just going to carefully just scrub around the edges. Right, pick up this bit. There's a bead gathering at the bottom and that'll end up in a big lump of colour and I don't want that. So I reckon I might be going to leave that alone. You know, it's not ideal, but it's 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 a first paint. It's a first lily so I've ever done, so I'm quite happy. It can only get better from here. <laughs> it can only get better from here. So I'm going to take my tape off carefully. There we go. Take me tape off there. Thank you, Ariane. Thank you, Doug. You know, I'm a work in progress and I'm still very much learning. Oops. Whoops, it is. Whoops, it is. And I've knocked everything out of the way. But it looks okay. When you, it, It's not bad. It's not bad. Not a bad first attempt. I do see that I've got to carefully clean my brush. There's a little bit I need to try and soften just here. Get some clean water. I just want to take that bit out there. I just want to soften that bit. I don't like that bit. Whoops. Got to carefully soften it. Just that edge. Like that. Righto. 
I didn't sign it. I better sign it, eh? So, sign it with Indigo down here. Very faintly do that. So she signed. Take off my last little bit. Oops, pulling off a little bit of the fluffy bits. There we go. That's better. And we are done. Done diddly on. Whoops, a daisy, and they drop to the bottom. Pop me a bit. Where's me that? Me that. I'll stick that there. That'll hold it there. <laughs> In theory. There we go. We're done. Oh, so not a bad first attempt. So thank you so much for hanging out Ari around Ariane and Aurora. I know Aurora's gone, but thank you, for Dale, for hanging out. It's always lovely to see you here. So I will be back tomorrow <laughs> again for the next prompt, um, which is it's a nice start to the day. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Dale. It's a, lov what, you're a lovely end to my day. <laughs> so it's a nice way to see the day off. So thank you so much, Dale. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. And, yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Um, and if I don't, I'll see you when I'm looking at you. And thank you so much for spending some time with me. And, yeah, so I'm over and out. <laughs> Have a great day, Dale. Okay.